Uh, welcome to the class of advanced statistics and econometrics. Today we are going to discuss the types of multivariate techniques. So there are two types broadly, dependence techniques and interdependence techniques. Dependent techniques uh, uh, are a variable or a set of variable is identified as dependent variable to be predicted or explained by other variables known as independent variable. So under these techniques we have multiple regression, multiple discriminant analysis, logistic regression or logit, MANOVA that is multivariate analysis of variance and covariance, conjoint analysis, canonical correlation, structural equation modeling, SEM. So uh, types of multivariate techniques, interdependence techniques involve the simultaneous analysis of all variable in the set without distinction between dependent variables and independent variables. So examples of interdependence techniques are uh, principal component and common factor analysis, cluster analysis, multidimensional scaling, perceptual mapping which is also called perceptual map mapping and correspondence analysis. So selecting a multivariate technique, what type of relationship is being examined in dependence or interdependence? This will decide that what type of multivariate techniques will be used. So dependence relationship, how many variables are being predicted? What is the measurement scale of the dependent variable? What is the measurement scale of the predictor or independent variable? Interdependence relationship, are you examining relationship between variable, respondent or objects? These things determine which multivariate techniques to be used. Two broad types of multivariate techniques we have already discussed dependence and interdependence. Between the dependence, uh, it analyzes dependent and independent variable at the same time, and interdependence analyzes dependent and independent variable separately. So we have the different methods multivariate dependence, one dependent, if you have dependent method and one dependent variable, then we have metric and non-metric. So in case of metric, we will use multiple regression and conjoint analysis. If it is non-metric, then we will use discriminant analysis and logic. If there are several dependent variable and it is metric, then we will have MANOVA and canonical. If it is uh, non-metric dependent variable are many and they are ma non-metric measured on non-metric scale so in that case we can have canonical correlation and we can also use dummy variable in the case of interdependence method we have metric if it is dependent variable is metric uh, sorry if the variables are metric uh, then we can use factor analysis or cluster analysis or uh, metric MDS. If it is non-metric, then we can use non-metric MDS. Okay. If you have multiple relationship, then we can use structural equation, that is structural equation modeling or common factor analysis, that is CFA. Multiple regression, a single metric dependent variable is predicted by several metric independent variable. In that case, we will use multiple regression. Say we have x1, x2 independent variable and dependent variable is y which is 1. So we have more than one independent variable x1 and x2 there are two and how both are affecting y. If we are interested in that, we will use multiple regression. Discriminant analysis, what is discriminant analysis? So a single non-metric categorical dependent variable is predicted by several metric independent variables. Why we need to use it? So sometimes we face a situation in which uh, dependent variables uh, are taking categorical values like gender, male, female, culture, USA or uh, outside USA. So we have purchaser, versus non-purchaser, member versus non-member, 
and then we have good average and poor credit risk. These are some of the examples when dependent variable is taking categorical uh, value. Logistic regression, a single non-metric dependent variable is predicted by several metric independent variables. This technique is similar to discriminant analysis, but it relies on calculation more like regression. MANOVA, several metric dependent variables are predicted by a set of non-metric categorical independent variable. Canonical analysis, several metric dependent variable are predicted by several metric uh, independent variables. Conjoint analysis, so we can see the application uh, like typical applications are soft drink, candy bars, cereals, beer, apartment building, condo, and solvent, cleaning, cleaning fluids. So what is the conjoint, conjoint analysis? We can see that in the conjoint analysis, uh, we, are, we are looking at the attributes, how important they are. Structural equation modeling, so it is estimate, it is going to estimate multiple interrelated dependence relationship based on two components, measurement model and structural model. Exploratory factor analysis. It analyzes the structure of the interrelationship among a large number of variables to determine a set of common underlying dimension that are called factor. So cluster analysis of eating out question. First question is, suppose you are having, the, you are, uh, having a restaurant and uh, you get the observation on these four questions. I eat at fast food restaurant at least once a week. I prefer restaurant with the highest quality food. I prefer restaurant that have quick service. I prefer to eat restaurant that have a nice environment, atmosphere. So the objective is to identify group that maximize the ratio of between group variance and within group variance. So idea of cluster is uh, members within a cluster are similar to each other compared to uh, non-members like members of other cluster so within cluster difference is less similarity is high and between cluster similarity is less and difference is high so we compare this and suppose you have a seven point agree disagree scale and then we want to see where the observations are going to lie and how close it is to each other and then we form different cluster how many cluster to be formed so cluster analysis so suppose we have something like a construct so something trust commitment cooperation locus of control job satisfaction turnover so these are some of the examples so we have organizational commitment they can take three different values high medium and low Similarly, you have some polar extremes in which you remove the middle group and organizational commitment is taking only two value, high and low. Multidimensional scaling. It identifies unrecognized dimensions that affect purchase behavior based on customer's judgment of similarity or preferences. And transforms these into distances represented as perceptual maps. Correspondence analysis. So, correspondence analysis uses non-metric data and evaluates either linear or non-linear relationship in an effort to develop a perceptual map representing the association between objects, firms, product, etc. and a set of descriptive characteristics of the objects. So, guideline for uh, multivariate analysis so you establish it establishes practical significance as well as statistical significance so uh, you must establish this in order to do a multivariate analysis small size effects all results sample size effects all results and you need to know your data 
and strive for model parsimony what is model parsimony parsimony means you need to uh, minimize the number of parameters or a go for a simple uh, model prefer a simple model in which you have less number of variable and look at your errors and validate your results these are some of the guidelines for conducting the multivariate analysis and a structural approach to multivariate model building stage 1 will be define the research problem objectives and multivariate techniques to be used develop the analysis plan that will be the stage 2 in stage 3 you need to evaluate the assumptions underlying the multivariate techniques you need to see whether assumptions are holding or not and stage 4 estimate the multivariate model and assess overall model fit stage 5 will be to interpret the variate and stage 6 that is the last stage validate the multivariate model and the reference for all this is a book titled multivariate data analysis eighth edition singhage and the author of the book are here babin anderson and black thanks that's it